released are the shackles and onto a journey into the promised land. Sun shining a thousand miles, feet blistered from the burning sand. Generations of separation reunited through joy and pain. As we walk and stand hand in hand, dividing the mudded plains. The rain subsides, but the creeks still rise, as do our souls from the burning plains. No more Jim Crow laws, hoses, or dogs, yet our fight for freedom remains the same. Since 1865, stronger is our will to survive. Oh, what a joy that day will bring, when a proclamation creates a declaration to let our freedom ring. Drum Farm was built on a philosophy of elevating those that have suffered maltreatment. In the face of recent incidents of violence, we are reminded that racial injustice still permeates our society. Drum works every day to eradicate discrimination and expose ignorant stereotypes through both our practices and our policies. We do so as a role model for our community with the understanding that our organization is not immune to structural racism and classism. It is imperative that we continue to lead efforts to improve ourselves, our organization, and our world. And it is essential that we do so for every child and young adult that we touch. Their lives matter that much. But that can't happen unless and until every black life truly matters. Juneteenth, also known as Freedom Day, is a national holiday in which we celebrate the end of slavery. Although June 19, 1865, is a day to be celebrated, our country has found itself continuing to deal with the adversity of racism to this day. In light of recent tragic events in the black communities across the United States, protests in our neighborhoods, and even all over the world, my hope is that Juneteenth can one day be celebrated to a higher degree. Juneteenth is a mile marker for our nation. It shows that our nation can change for the better. As my elders would say, to know better is to do better. To understand that black lives do indeed matter is to show why our lives matter. Good evening. Welcome to the 2020 Drum Farm Virtual Benefit Dinner. We're truly excited to have you join us today in our celebration of our mission and our work to help children and young adults live a better life. This has been a very difficult time. COVID-19 has impacted us in many ways, but I've taken to discussing it in this way. Our mission matters and safety is central. Both are equally as important. And as grown up adults, we know that two things can be required and true at the same time. Tonight, we host a unique benefit dinner, the first in our history to be done virtually. You'll get to see some of our young people graduate to the next position in their life, independence, living on their own, becoming grown-up adults themselves. We also get to participate in an online auction. We've not done it before. We hope it goes smoothly, and we appreciate your patience and your dedication to our mission and the work that we get done here at Drum Farm each and every day from the beginning and past the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you for being with us this evening. Good evening and welcome to the Drum Farm Center for Children first ever virtual benefit dinner. My name is Carmen Duvall and I am a member of the board of directors for Drum Farm and chair of this event. On behalf of the staff and board of directors, we'd like to express our sincere disappointment for not being together this evening, but we would also like to take this moment to thank you for sharing this event on your Facebook page and for always sharing the good news of Drum Farm with your friends. 
As you can imagine, the staff at Drum Farm has risen to the occasion during this crisis. From serving our foster youth and vulnerable youth in the community, to teaching the board of directors how to use Zoom, to implementing COVID practices, they have not missed a beat. But the staff can't do it alone. The Drum Farm Center for Children has a rich history of support from our community, and we need you now more than ever. So please take a look at our auction items and thoughtfully consider how you might be able to lend a hand to the more than 100 children that we support. Hello, Facebook and uh, all of the participants. We are really glad that you've joined us this evening. Summit Homes and our team is proud to be a supporter of Drum Farm in the mission of important work that they do. The youth and young adults could not have the foundation, the core and the strengths to be on the path of a successful life without the support of Drum Farm and everything that they do to provide the, the opportunities for those children. So please join us in our efforts and support Drum Farm. Open up your hearts, open up your wallets, and uh, let's make this a very successful campaign. Thank you very much. Every decision that you make, passion should start leading you. It's your passion and what drives you. And remember, when you get to the place that you feel like you have reached the place to be the successful, don't forget to go back and reach somebody else. You understand what I'm saying? When you get to a place where you feel like you have been successful and you got what you want, always look back and get somebody else. Each one, reach one, and you always be able to teach one. My name is Jason Rogers. I'm the Compass Coordinator here at Drum Farm. And today is a glorious day for all of us here at Drum and in the Compass program. Um, it is our, it's always our goal that our young adults in our Compass program graduate. And today we have the honor of introducing Brittany Moore, Noah Black, and Tajana Hines that has successfully completed the Compass program. And the Compass program is an independent living program for youth that have aged out of the foster care system or homeless. And um, the goal is for them to come to Drum Farm and really attain all the skills that they need to contribute into the community that they choose to be in. And so our young adults that we have here today have done that successfully. And so today we are honored to present them with drum rings. I'm so very thankful for the drum program and all they have done for me. It's meant so much future-wise. I am going to University of Central Missouri to major in speech and theater education. I, I've always wanted to be a teacher. I just didn't know what I wanted to teach and I love theater with a passion. Yeah. Um, I've really achieved a lot with this program being here. Um, I plan on becoming a worldwide makeup artist and continuing my dream to be an entrepreneur and be successful in life. And it was all because of Drunk Farm. Thank you. I just wanted to thank everyone at Drum Farm who had helped me uh, through the years I was in the Compass program. Um, I am wanting to go to uh, culinary, culinary school and uh and i you know i'm just looking to see what else the future has in store for me so we are extremely grateful for all of you for all that you have done uh all the way from our staff to supporters to our board and to the overall community uh we know that we are in trying times and we honestly believe that the young adults that we have presented rings with today embody uh what we are going through as a as a world um, and so we, once again, thank you all and appreciate it. <laughs> my brain's going too fast for my mouth. That was really good. We look forward every year to enjoying the fellowship with wonderful friends and families of DRUM at the annual benefit dinner. Unfortunately, we can't be together this year, but this great organization still needs all of our financial support to fund the programs that it offers to the children and the young adults that they serve at DRUM. So gather up your friends and your family and join us in the virtual event and give, give generously. generously. Thank you, DRUM Farm. Mm.
As Drum crossed into 2020 and began the next 100 years of service as an organization, children and youth continued to build on the progress they had made. Children were making up ground academically that they had lost while in the system. Children and youth were addressing past traumas and growing emotionally to a place of stability. Youth and young adults were finding employments and career opportunities that were putting them on the path towards successful, independent living. But the story doesn't end there. In early March, an unprecedented health crisis that has been significantly impacting us all began. And we could have never imagined nor realized what was needed to address this crisis. Just like the rest of the country and the world, our young adults were dealing with what was coming their way. Being, being forced to stay at home in their apartments in isolation many times was impacting their emotional stability. Closure of businesses were, was impacting their ability to maintain jobs. School closures impacted their academic progress. But fortunately, our young people are not alone in this moment. We at DRUM and all of you who are part of this DRUM family are walking side by side with them, supporting them, helping them, providing the resources that are necessary to get them through this challenge. And just like other challenges that they have faced, the consequences could be significant. But the opportunity for them to realize their potential and to realize that the support network that is surrounding them can get them through is right before us. And so tonight, that's the opportunity we all have and that you have as part of the Drum family, is to be part of that bridge that gets them over this divide, that they could march their way over the bridge and continue on the path of success that they've started long ago. So we're asking you, will you be part of the team that builds the bridge for these young people tonight? To give of your resources and your support and continue to be the wind in their sail that pushes them on to the place that we all know they can get to. We're excited tonight for the ways that you will join us in building this vision of success and opportunity for the children and youth of Drum Farm. And thank you so much for all you do to help us realize this vision. Thank you, Drum. Thank you, Drum, for everything you've given me and empowering me every single day to be a better person. Thank you. Thank you, Drum. Thanks to your support, youth and young adults who are experiencing housing instability and experiencing services 
during this tough time. Thank you. From the farm. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Drum. So when you say go, I'll just say thank you, and then we'll cut. I'm not ready yet. Okay. I'm still thinking about what I should say. You're still thinking about just saying thank you. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You can just say whatever. What have most people been saying? Uh, thank you. Or... Yeah, like after the thank you. Thanks. Thank you for all the support. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. Oh man, now I gotta try to bring a tear to Miss Lisa's eye. That's not easy. Are we thinking like our supporters? Or are we thinking like Andrew yes. Drum? And I'm not interviewing today, am I? Or am I? Okay, and I'm just handing something? Or am I in that at all? There it is, all right. Thank you uh, to all of our supporters, all of our board members, and uh, to the community of Drum Farm.